Hi everybody, welcome back to Pittsburgh Today Live. So last year, a first of its kind festival debuted in Pittsburgh. It was such a great hit and it featured several artists from all over the country who created large scale, beautiful works of chalk art, just like this one. How did I get on top of this Campbell's tomato soup can? This is so cool. This is a 3D work of chalk art created by the chalking dad himself. Eric Greenawalt. Eric, we are so pumped about this weekend because the Pittsburgh River Walk and Chalk Fest is back for the second year in a row. And you have two days, two beautiful days. Yeah, we've got two beautiful days of weather coming up. We've got artists coming in from all around the country, creating some absolutely amazing chalk art and super excited to uh, bring this back to Pittsburgh for a second year. I have to ask you about the 3D Campbell soup can. How long did it take you to create this masterpiece? Uh, this probably took about 10 hours to put together all together. So, you know, a bit of, bit of work, a labor of love, and, uh, you know, super excited to be over here on the North Shore at the park and near the Warhol Museum and in the Pop District. It just felt perfectly right to be doing a Warhol-inspired 3D piece. This is such a great location and a new location showing off the beautiful North Shore. Over 20 artists from all over. There's also going to be entertainment, food, drinks. I mean, it's going to be quite the festival this weekend. What are you most looking forward to, to showcasing Pittsburgh people? Because this is something a little bit unique, and it's only the second year in a row. Yeah, it's only our second year, but we had an amazing turnout last year on the Saturday of the event. You know, just to be able to bring this art form to, to Pittsburgh after all these years, is just you know super exciting to be able to bring art and show show how you can go from doing chalk drawings in the driveway to um, you know really all around you know travel and do this all around the country and do it here in Pittsburgh well we're excited to have it and you are so talented Eric I want to make my way over to some cocktails and mocktails for me with Matt Galuzzo he is the president and CEO of River Life good to see you Matt great to see you as well thanks for thanks for being with us today so we mentioned the food the drinks all the entertainment and we have some really cute little ducks what are these drinks from shorties these are from shorties so we have a number of sponsors this year sporties pins and pints on the North Shore uh, partnering with us on this event Event. Again, this is a family-friendly event. We're going to have chalk art. We're going to have face paint. We're going to have balloon art, uh, vendors, uh, food trucks. It's going to be a great experience. And for us, it's a great way to kick off the summer. Oh, yeah. And the cool thing about this year is it's two days. So Saturday will be beautiful. But Sunday, it's also when Open Streets Pittsburgh is happening. So bikers can even come by and see all the art. You know, our work at River Life is really about partnerships and leveraging partnerships. And so be a, being able to dovetail with Bike Pittsburgh's Open Streets event is a super opportunity for us to share our work, the rivers, with everybody. Yeah, it's so great. And part of the Proceeds, right? Not proceeds, I should say sales from food and beverages will go towards your work. Yeah, we're a nonprofit organization. This is a way to, you know, bring people together but also support our organization. So it's a good cause. I love it. Well, we got to cheers, everybody. Okay. I'm going with the liquid death. With <laughs> It's actually just water, which I love the name. Liquid death. Matt, Eric, you guys get the real cocktails. Heather and David, remember last year they created that beautiful art of yes. you guys? Yeah. Their faces it was amazing. outside. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really nice. Thank you so much, Selena. <laughs> and it really is going to be a beautiful weekend for it, too, this weekend. Could not be better.